Hello everyone, my name is Neil and this video is called Modern Films with Classic Actors. What we're going to do is we're going to take films that are made like after the 1970s or so and we're going to put actors in who were uh, famous before that time. You'll get it as we go along. So let's start with Bond, James Bond. Uh, a lot of people say Cary Grant for... That was a terrible Cary Grant. Cary Grant for James Bond and then of course Christopher Lee... Uh, for James Bond would, would make sense as well. One is lighthearted, the other one's a little bit too dark. I'm gonna go with Basil Rathbone. Basil Rathbone as James Bond. Moving on to Alien. Ellen Ripley. Who should it be? It should be somebody uh, who's athletic and who's kind of a badass. Uh, so somebody from back in the day would be, of course, Catherine Hepburn. Catherine Hepburn as Ellen Ripley. Silence of the Lambs. For Clarice Starling, you need somebody who's independent, and for uh, Hannibal Lecter, of course, you need somebody who's kind of creepy. Uh, so we're going to go with Barbara Stanwyck as Clarice Starling, and uh, Peter Laurie as uh, Hannibal Lecter. Hello, Clarice. That works much better. Forrest Gump. Of course, you couldn't make Forrest Gump back in the 1940s, but hey, let's just kind of go with that. Ah, uh, you need somebody who, who can play somebody simple-minded. Gary Cooper uh, is Forrest Gump. Somebody cynical uh, would be William Holden as Lieutenant Dan. I remember the first time I saw uh, the Shawshank Redemption. Uh, Paul Robeson uh, would play Red. He has a booming voice, good narrator. James J J Jeremy Stewart as the innocent uh, man, Andy Dufresne. Uh, welcome to Jurassic Park. Cary Grant. We're going to put Cary Grant back in at this point. And as far as uh, for Cary Grant as Dr. Alan Grant, Lauren Bacall. Uh, Lauren Bacall as Dr. Uh, Ellie Sattler. Uh, I love this casting. Oscar Levant as Dr. Ian Malcolm. Uh, he's morose, he's cynical, with a brilliant mind. Perfect casting as far as I'm concerned. James Mason as uh, John Hammond. Uh, and of course, a little extra added bonus as Dennis Nedry, uh, Lou Costello. Ah, 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 you didn't say the magic white. So that would really work for me. Pirates of the Caribbean. Errol Flynn and Olivia Havilland, some people have said them. I say no. I'm going to go with Michael Caine as Captain Jack Sparrow. But the softer Michael Caine, Michael Caine as, as, as Captain Jack Sparrow. Hunger Games, you, again, you need a badass. You need somebody who um, can work with a bow and arrow. Uh, you've got somebody here, Ingrid Bergman. Uh, she played Joan of Arc. She was an outdoors woman. You usually think of her as somebody who is... A romantic lead, but I'm going to go with Ingrid Bergman as Katniss Everdeen. Uh, Titanic. Well, this depends. 1930s version would be Betty Davis as Rose, uh, James Cagney as Jack. If we're moving into the 1940s, I'm got to go with Vivian Lee as Rose and John Garfield as Jack. Home Alone. Mickey Rooney gets the nod as Kevin McAllister. Nanette Fabre as his mom. Look at that face. Very much like Catherine O'Hara. I, I, I think there's a resemblance between the two of them. As far as the Wet Bandits, we're going to go with Mo Howard from the uh, Three Stooges as Harry. And from the Bowery Boys, the East Side Kids, Hunts Hall as Marv. Fast and the Furious, Steve McQueen. That's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, the Expendables, this gets a little tricky. John Wayne. As the head of the Expendables, then of course we have Lee Marvin, Anthony Quinn, Ricardo Montalban, uh, Dean Martin, Charles Bronson, Robert Mitchum, Key Luke, Scatman, Crothers, and Red Buttons for the Expendables. And by the way, that's the same cast that I would use for Predator, as well as Armageddon. Star Wars, wonderful Star Wars. We're going with Peter O'Toole as Luke Skywalker, Audrey Hepburn, Princess Leia, this was a tough one, but I'm going with James Garner as Han Solo. As Obi-Wan Kenobi, Boris Karloff. I, I, I just love that one. Uh, Rex Harrison with that crisp accent, C-3PO. And of course, as Darth Vader, Orson Welles. Harry Potter. Well, Harry Potter would go to Freddy Bartholomew, would play Harry Potter. Uh, he's, of course, Captain's courageous British uh, child star. Another British child star, Elizabeth Taylor as Hermione Granger. Jackie Cooper, an American, but he can pull it off. I'm going him with him for Ron Weasley. Uh, Professor McGonagall, you've got Angela Lansbury, 
Claude Rains is Dumbledore. Yeah, I know he's a little short, but you, you shoot him from a, a, a different angle and it'll look bigger. Sebastian Cabot as Hagrid. And as far as Professor, Professor Snape is concerned, none on other than Bella Lugosi. All right, let's move into the Marvel Universe. Tony Curtis as Iron Man. Uh, Audie Murphy as Captain America. Sal Minio as Spider-Man. Woody Strode as Black Panther. Uh, moving the same kind of universe there, X-Men. Uh, Professor Charles Xavier Yule Brenner. Uh, we move to Magneto and Sir Lawrence Olivier. Cyclops, Cliff uh, Roberts. Uh, Dorothy Dandridge takes on Storm. Rita Hayworth takes on Jean Grey. Joanne Woodward. Look at that, how young she is. A young Joanne Woodward as uh, Rogue. And Margaret as Mystique. And this one insists upon itself. Oliver Reed as Wolverine. Superman, Super Duper Man. A lot of people have said Johnny Weissmuller or Clark Gable, but neither one of them can really pull off uh, Clark Kent. Uh, for that, I'm going to go with, believe it or not, Harold Lloyd. Harold Lloyd was a silent film star. Look at this picture. There are these two pictures. Clark Kent on your left. That's what he usually did. He wore the glasses. Uh, and on the right, Superman. This is the same person by the way, and he had the acting chops to do it, he had the athleticism to do it, uh, so uh, I'm going to go with uh, Superman, Harold Lloyd. Wonder Woman, I've got two potentials here, Jane Russell and Ava Gardner, I wonder which woman I'm going to choose, Jane Russell has the heat, but not a lot of light, uh, Ava Gardner's got light and heat, and uh, I'm going with her for Wonder Woman. Moving on to Batman, our final leg here is Batman. Arthur Treacher as Alfred. He was the butler's butler in all these films. Lena Horne as Catwoman. As far as the Riddler is concerned, I'm going with a dancer. It's usually a comedian, but I'm going with a dancer. Bob Fosse as the Riddler. Uh, Charles Lawton as the Penguin. As for Batman himself, James Coburn. James Coburn had the, the, the training for it. He was trained in martial arts. Uh, Bruce Lee was one of his best friends. Uh, James Coburn as the Batman. As far as the Joker, here we go. This is our last one. The Joker, it's usually, you know, people think of comedians and such, and that's one way to go. And the other way is to go more serious. I'm going more serious. James Dean as the Joker. Tell me that's not perfect casting right there. So that's it. Uh, that's it for this video. Like and share and discuss and do whatever the hell you want to do with this. I'm Neil. Hope you had a great time. See you next time.